Hi there, back again. Several people have asked me what I believe about enterprise architecture or architectures in general. What are my core principles, the core ways that I look at things in terms of how an architecture works? Well, the first one is a tagline I use a lot, which is that things work better when they work together on purpose. It's about how everything links together into a unified whole in the dynamics of change. Another one is that a lot of people in enterprise architecture come from an IT space and most of the standards are focused in there. And the answer is yes, IT is one part of it, but it's certainly not all of it. In fact, if we think of business in business environments, IT is typically five to 10% of the overall spend on the, on the business. Then almost by definition, we should be spending no more than five to 10% of our time on IT when we're looking at the architecture of an enterprise as a whole. So IT is important, but it's not the center. In fact, everywhere and nowhere is the center that we're looking at all at the same time. It's all about, it's also about any scope, any scale, any context. We use the words fractal or recursive, even if they sometimes worry people. So it's about patterns. It's about things connecting at different scales. It's always complex, it's always changing. We're looking at things like life cycles. We're looking at long tail risks or long tail opportunities, what are called kurtosis risks, extremely important, where the gains that we, we make from ignoring a risk can be wiped out and much more if, if and when the, the risk eventuates. We're looking also at structure, not just structures, but also at story, at how the story of the enterprise works. The enterprise itself is in essence a story and we're looking at, th at those particularly as ways of, of engaging all of the stakeholders and the tagline I often use there is a stakeholder is anyone who can wield a sharp pointed stake in our direction so we need to cover a much wider range of stakeholders than people often expect and the tech whilst the technical is important and it's where a lot of people start from the soft skills are extremely important in, an, in an enterprise architecture scale and it becomes more political and more people oriented as the scope and the scale grow. So those are some of the key assumptions, the key principles that I use in all of my approaches to architecture.